Are ready? I think that went through the net. Today on the Butterfly Farmer, we are on the hunt for one of North America's most misunderstood fish. With their powerful bodies and their razor sharp teeth, these fish are the apex predators of the Mississippi River system. Often called aggressive, harmful, and even dangerous, the alligator gar family are no stranger to controversy. And today, I'm gonna do my best to catch one with my beer hands. Let's check it out. So it is spring here in the river valleys of the southeastern United States, and I am on my way out to a backwater area just off the main river. Now my target is one of the most fascinating fish in North America, and that's the gar family. The largest species in this family is the alligator gar, and they can grow as long as 10 feet and weigh up to 350 pounds. They are the second largest freshwater fish in North America, only behind the white sturgeon. In my area, there are two main native gar, the alligator gar, and also the spotted gar. And I'm really hoping that we get the opportunity to catch at least one of these amazing species. So this is perfect gar habitat. If you look back this way, I have fairly shallow water, a lot of plant material for the gar to hide, and also a gravelly, muddy bottom. And that is exactly where the gar should be this time of the year. And that's because as the water temperatures rise in the spring, the gar actually start coming up into the shallows, um, looking for places to spawn here in a few weeks in the early summer. So I'm about to head out here. I uh, start with the net, I've got my net, and I am a butterfly farmer. So I feel like I should be good with a fishing net, and we're about to find out. Man, I can't believe I missed those. <sighs> okay, hey Josh, there's a gar right here. Oh, I almost had that one. <clears throat> it has been actually a bigger learning curve than I thought it would be to catch these fish with the net. But the good news is I'm headed in the right direction because at least I was fast enough to catch a turtle. Got him. Whew, sweet. Well, it's a good thing I was going after a bigger one because that one is now off the menu. All right. Probably about five pounds, about two feet long. So pretty small on the broad scheme of things, but still a good catch. All right, another spotted gar. So a lot of times, so one thing I have established, gar are incredibly slippery fish. But I really wanna take this video to the next level. And it kind of addressed this issue that gar are these mean, vicious fish. And to do that, I'm going to attempt to catch one with my beer hand. I'm up for it. Uh, let's see what happens. It's right here. All right, ready? All right, I got it. I've got it pinned to the, ah! Oh. I had it. Rule number one, never take your concentration off the catch. I got it. Oh, I'm losing it. Right, I got it. Oh. That is one slippery fish. All right, I got one. I got it. Oh. All right, so this, oh, first actual catch by hand 
Wow. So you can see why people are a little bit afraid of these fish, but it's really a complete misconception. I've actually was able to catch a couple of these guys uh, with my hands, <laughs> most of them got away. Not a single time did they act aggressive, did they try to bite. And that's because these are ambush predators. So what that means is they will lay in wait, hide in the grass and rush out if a smaller fish or frog or other prey swims by. So anything they can't swallow whole, they don't see as food. One thing that is absolutely true about them, gar are slippery and incredibly tough. I just love the scales on these things. There were some Native American tribes down in this area that used to use scales from the larger fish as arrowheads. They're tough, there's no doubt about that. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun putting this together. I hope that I've also answered some of the common questions and misconceptions surrounding the freshwater gar. I am John the Butterfly Farmer, saying thanks for watching and so long. If you've enjoyed this episode of The Butterfly Farmer, make sure and subscribe to our channel so you can join us in the future as we explore the amazing world of nature all around us. Thanks for watching. So long.